To write the name for KBr, we first need to recognize that we have an ionic compound. That's because potassium is a metal and bromine's a nonmetal. Metal and nonmetal, when they bond together, we get an ionic compound. Specifically, this is called a binary ionic compound because we have two different elements here bonded together. With binary ionic compounds, we use these rules to write the name. So first we write the name on the metal, that's the potassium, just as it appears on the periodic table. So potassium, and then we write the name for the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table as well. So we'll have bromine, small b, but we replace the ending with IDE. So instead of INE, we have IDE. And this is the name for KBr, potassium bromide. If you were given the name and asked for the formula, you'd need to recognize that potassium, that has a one plus ionic charge. It's in group one on the periodic table. When we have bromine and it forms this bromide ion that has a one minus ionic charge. So these two balance out and the name for KBr, that's potassium bromide. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.